Hello everyone, this is Ronan Blue, and for those that don't know me, this channel is all about how my girlfriend and I just started our financially independent debt-free journey since paying off our mortgage. With my newfound freedom, I talk about how we made it happen, the forms of passive income we have, our thoughts of early retirement overseas, personal thoughts, and general financial issues. Today's topic is on the 8 best reasons to retire to Japan. Stay till the end of the video to see whether this would be your retirement destination. Just as a disclaimer, the information provided is a general guide and to be used for educational purposes only. Japan is a beautiful country that comprises of islands and four seasons that spread across the year. With its incredible natural landscapes, neon lit cities and distinct culture, Japan is endlessly fascinating. Everything in this amazing land is so different from western norms. It has deeply rooted cultural traditions, geishas, tea ceremonies, beautiful mountain scenery, ancient shrines and temples, and lovely gardens. Number 1. Culture in Japan Early Japanese culture was heavily influenced by China. It had a very strict isolation policy, closing its doors to all in the outside world, creating a distinct Japanese culture. Their traditional culture could be seen in its architecture, its temples, Shinto shrines and castles in Kyoto and Nara. But after 1868, Japan reversed the practice of isolation and started adopting cultural practices from all over the world and mixing them with their own. Today, modern Japanese culture has many uniquely interesting aspects, both modern and traditional. It's in their cuisine, performing arts, fashion, anime, and geisha. It remains today as one that is in continual state of rapid change and continuously evolving into new trends. Number 2. Places to live in Japan Fujisawa, Kanazawa Prefecture This is a coastal city in Kanagawa. It has a relaxed atmosphere with convenient public transportation less than 30 minutes from Tokyo. It has centuries-old temples, storytellings of beautiful princesses, and sunset views of Mount Fuji. Everyone is really friendly here than in Tokyo, where everyone seems pretty tired and stressed. Kyoto Kyoto is considered one of the most beautiful places in all of Japan and brings historical Japan to life in a modern age. You can see its architectural beauty, culture, and history within a reasonable time. It has about 2,000 temples and shrines, and dozens of museums and botanical gardens. There are shops, restaurants, as well as tea houses where the geisha and their apprentices entertain visitors by performing traditional music and dance. It's also much cheaper to live in than Tokyo, although not as modern as Tokyo. Osaka this city is the second largest city in Japan and one of the best cities in Japan for expats with a population of around 120,000 expats. They also say people in Osaka are friendlier than Tokyo. The accommodations are cheaper here as well and it has a lower cost of living than Tokyo by over 30%. It is also close to Kyoto, Nara and Kobe and it also has a rich nightlife and shopping options. Number 3. Food in Japan. Ramen. You'll find this at almost every street corner. It's a wheat noodle soup dish that was originally imported from China and is one of the most popular and inexpensive dishes in Japan. There is a shoyu ramen noodle soup with chicken, onions, a fish ball, seaweed, and cabbage, but often contains other meats such as pork, beef, or fish. It usually also contains hard-boiled eggs and different vegetables such as onion, mushrooms, bean sprouts, seaweed, and corn. Okonomiyaki this is in the middle of a pancake and pizza. It is pan fried and consists of batter and cabbage. Different kinds of toppings and ingredients are added. Anything from sliced meat and seaweed to wasabi and cheese. But it could be mixed for what you like. Okonomi does mean one's liking. Now everyone knows sushi. It's a raw fish served on rice seasoned lightly with vinegar. It has a variety of flavors and textures. It could be tangy, creamy, plump, and juicy. That gets interesting. Each little piece almost looks like an art. Tokyo has some of the best sushi restaurants in the world. There are all kinds of sushi, sashimi, and nigiri. Sushi is that kind of food that you either really love or hate. There's no neutral ground when it comes to sushi. There are hundreds of kinds of sushi. For the best, it's a combination of the freshest fish or meat and the vinegar used to flavor the rice. Number 4. Entertainment in Japan The Onsen, Hot Spring Everyone likes Japanese hot spring baths. Japanese people are obsessed with them and foreign visitors almost always enjoy the experience. With the volcanic activity, Japan is a hotbed of geothermal activity. There are more than 25,000 naturally occurring mineral hot springs which help power 3,000 spa resorts across the country. But it does come with a lot of rules that can make it a bit of a challenge. Ancient capital of Nara 
There is a little city of Nara that will make you feel like you step back in time, wandering between the temples, shrines, and traditional tea houses. It's home to eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites, along with the world's biggest bronze Buddha, a prehistoric rainforest with an old samurai route. Tsukiji Market. There are rows of exceptional sushi restaurants here, some of them open 24 hours per day. It's the oldest and biggest fish market in the world and has become well known with Japan's world famous food culture. The market handles about 480 types of seafood and about 270 types of produce, both domestic and imported. Hang in there, we are halfway through. Watch for some more great points coming now. Number five, cost of living in Japan. Depending on where, accommodation can be the biggest expense you have in Japan. You can get shared rooms for a minimum of 35,000 yen per month, about $310 USD, to around 60,000 yen, $533 USD, for a single room in a shared house, to an average of 80,000 yen, $730 USD, for a small single apartment in city center. Outside the city center would be about 53,000 yen, about $470 USD per month. Rent for a three bedroom apartment in city center would be 164,000 yen, about $1,460 per month. Outside the city center would be 110,000 yen, or $890 per month. But living in the more convenient areas of Tokyo could be a 30 to 40% increase in rent. So that means that cities other than Tokyo could be 30 to 50% lower. Utilities are electricity, gas, and water, and could be upwards of 12,000 to 19,000 yen per month in total. So $106 USD to $168 USD per month. Internet subscriptions are very fast and affordable. A fiber optic connection costs from 3,000 yen or $26 USD to 6,000 yen of $53 USD per month based on the bandwidth. Dining out in Japan could sometimes be affordable than cooking at home. A lot of people eat out every day because it's cheap, fast, and there's no dirty dishes to clean afterwards. If you're okay with eating convenience store bento, Japanese home-packed meals, then a meal will cost you roughly 500 yen, or $4 USD. There are also many Japanese fast food restaurants or small shops selling set meals at around 800 yen, or $7 USD, to 1,000 yen of $9 USD. A meal for two at a mid-range restaurant would be around 3,900 yen or $35 USD. But just to make mention, the average monthly cost of living for the Japanese for a household with two or more people is 407,000 yen or $3,625 USD per month. This would include consumption expenditures like food, utilities and clothing, and non-consumption expenditures like payroll taxes. This monthly amount doesn't include their rent or mortgage. Number six, buy property in Japan. Japan is one of the most easiest places to buy property as a foreigner. The property regulations are foreign friendly and you have no restrictions to buy land as well. It is always best to get a reputable real estate agent to help you out. So it's possible for you to buy that traditional Japanese house in the countryside if you wanted to. The problem is the value of the Japanese home doesn't seem to hold up. Newly built homes in Japan quickly lose their building value, often becoming disposable and fit for demolition after only 30 years or so, and most people don't want to buy these old homes. Japan's rapidly declining population in the next 50 years also means that the outlook of the real estate prices is unclear. But if you're not worried about your investment potentially going down in property, then this shouldn't matter. Number seven, healthcare in Japan. The healthcare system in Japan is one of the highest standards and on par with any first world nation. It's actually mandatory to be enrolled in the Japanese health insurance system if you're residing in Japan longer than three months. This is even if you have travel insurance or are covered by your insurance back home. If you're working, your job probably has you enrolled in a company Shakai Hoken insurance. Your health insurance as well as your pension gets directly deducted from your pay. You then enroll yourself in Japan's national health insurance, Kokumin Kenko Hoken, where you can apply from your local city hall. When you go for a doctor visit, you only pay 30% of the bill. The government covers the remaining 70% using your taxes. Number eight, how to live in Japan. At present, there is no specific retirement visa available for foreign nationals to reside in the country without working. For those who are set on the idea of retiring abroad in Japan without a work visa, there seems to be two main options. The first way would be by using a family or spousal visa. 
This is if you are married to a Japanese citizen or a permanent resident, or if you have immediate family in Japan with citizenship or permanent residency. The second way to retire would be to get consecutive one year visas. There are several non working visas, and to reside long term in Japan, you'll need to undergo the entire process annually until permanent residency can be achieved in 6 to 10 years. There's also the non working visa, allowing citizens from over 50 countries with positive relations to Japan to get a one year permit if they can prove savings of over 30 million yen, or 265,000 USD. Applicants could receive residency in the country for themselves and their spouse with faster processing. This will have to be applied for before entering Japan. Japan with its advanced economy, first world standards, some world largest cities, quiet serene countrysides, and a culture that would fill a lifetime with excitement, makes it easy to see why many would like to make it their new homes. The country is famous for its food and many of its amenities that will be familiar to people in western cultures. But with all of these great points, you'll be expected to spend big bucks for rent, and the cost of living in Japan has long been one of the highest in the world. It has however become more affordable in recent years, that has attracted a few, but it's still not a cheap place to call home. Well tell me what you think of retiring in Japan in the comment section below. If you like this vlog, please don't forget to give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell for more of my content here. Thank you for watching my vlog, I hope you have a great day and see you soon.